Hey there, you are flipping in fifth with me, Mrs. G. Today we're talking about topic nine, lesson eight, and today's learning target I would like you to write down in your notes is, I can subtract fractions with unlike denominators. Yesterday you learned how to add fractions with unlike denominators, and today is very, very similar. You still need to find that least common denominator, and then you can go through and subtract. So remember, we talked a common denominator is a common multiple of two denominators. And in order to add or subtract fractions, you need to have a common denominator. So again, topic nine, lesson six, I showed you two ways to find the least common multiple of two denominators. You can either go through and make a table and list all of the multiples of each denominator, or you can do the wedding cake strategy, whichever one works best for you. Here's our problem of the day. Mrs. G bought four sixths yard of holiday garland to decorate our classroom. She used one half yard to drape across the smart board. So how much garland does she have left? Well, first we're gonna underline the question so we know what we need to answer. The question here is how much garland does she have left? So now we're gonna go through and look at our important information. Well, here we know that Mrs. G bought four sixths of a yard and that she used one half of a yard. We also have some exploratory words here in our question, have left. So if we're gonna explore through that, we're gonna know that the operation we're gonna do is, how much does she have left is asking us to subtract. So here, our fraction problem of the day is 4 sixths minus 1 half. But before we can even think about subtracting, we have to have a common denominator. So I'm going to go through and list all of the multiples of 6, 6, 12, 18, 24, and 30. And then I'm going to list all the multiples of 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and it can go on and on and on and on. So then we're gonna go through and we're gonna highlight or circle the multiples that each denominator has in common. And here we can see that 12 is also in common, but we're always gonna go for the least common denominator. So in this case, it's going to be six. So now we just have to change the one half because this one already has six as the denominator. So we have to think, what do we do to a two to get it to six? Well, here we'll multiply by three Whatever we do to the denominator, we have to do to the numerator too. Remember yesterday I gave you that example of Morgan and Caden. Whatever you give to one, you have to give to the other. So we're going to multiply the numerator by three as well. Three times one is three. So our new subtraction problem is four sixths minus three sixths. And that is of course one sixth. Pretty easy, right? We'll go ahead and try this one. 12 twentieths minus 2 eighths. Again, we have to get a common denominator, and we know that 8 does not have a multiple that is 20. So we're going to have to change both of these fractions. So I can go through and list all of the multiples of 8 and all of the multiples of 20 and look for the lowest common denominator. In this case, it's going to be 40. So now we need to change the numerators too, because whatever we do to the denominator, we do to the numerator. So what did we do to the 20 to get to 40? Well, we multiplied it by two. So we have to do the same thing to our numerator. So 12 times two is 24. Now we have to do it with our second fraction. Eight times what equals 40? Eight times five, good job. So now we have to do the same thing to the numerator. Two times five equals? 10. So our new problem is 24 fortieths minus 10 fortieths, and we know that's 14 fortieths. But we're not quite done. We need to simplify, which means make that number smaller. So we know these are both even numbers, so we can divide them by 2. So 40 divided by 2 is 20, 14 divided by 2 is 7. So our answer to this problem in its most simplified form is 7 twentieths. Here are tonight's practice problems. I want you to find the least common denominator and then subtract. Be sure to simplify if necessary. Go ahead and stop the video and then come back when you have your answers. All right, here are your answers for tonight's problems. The answer to number one is 3 eighths. The answer to number two is 1 ninth. The answer to number three is 3 sixteenths. 
the answer to number 4 is 11 20ths, and the answer to number 5 is 2 35ths.